Bro, you like it all clean like this? Like, to me, this shit look kinda too clean. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, what's up, GQ? This your boy, yo, got it. We on the rock. You like a cup of Cubans, you know what I'm saying? You got a white Cuban right here. It's more like a small one. All these probably like 40, 45,000 small ones. This rose gold, this white gold. I wear these together. See, jewelry is like clothes. So you gotta wear these two together. I would never really wear them by themselves. My favorite is, is the mixture between rose and white. I just think white jewelry, to me, it looked the richest. It's clean and rich. And then the rose gold, to me, is when you want flavor. Cause I call it strawberry diamonds, you know what I'm saying? I think my favorite Cuban is the one I got on right now. It's from like 90,000, so I wear, I wear this one by itself. This one prong setting, you know what I mean? With the damage, it kind of stand off the chain. This is a two-tone, this match this one. So this is the little brother, but it's the same, you know, it's just pave instead of prong setting with the baguette diamond, the one big baguette in it on the lock. We got a lot of different diamond chains right here. My favorite is, is these, you know what I mean? You gotta carry it in the half. You also got a carrot in here on the diamond chains, and you got the Rock Nation, which means a lot to me. And of course, you got the CMG. CMG is the label. CMG is how we got here. It represents the struggle, you know what I'm saying? It's a baguette chain. It's probably like 40, 45 grand. It's another one somewhere in here. One on 45, one on 50. And they just baguette chains. These are like fun chains. Again, the trendy, like what's going on now. I mean, but the, the more real money is in the carrot and a half in the carrot chain. You know, these like 300, 350,000 for a carrot and a half diamond chain. So look, I'm gonna tell you a story about bracelets. One time I was in LA and I, um, I bought seven diamond bracelets. You know, 70 pointers, 80 pointers. And I like my jewelry to fit tight. So one of my homeboys was telling me like, it's too tight, it's gonna pop off. And I'm like, nah, I like it to fit tight. And I went to the, uh, I think it was the ASCAP Awards. Same night I come out there, it's got a I'm missing three bracelets. I just bought them the same night. It's crazy loss, you know what I mean? So I've been, you know, I've been light on the bracelets there since then. I just got these, these new ones. All these baguettes, they go with the baguette chains. All these like, I say probably like 35, 40 grand a piece. I call these the Super Bowl rings. I got them made specifically for the Super Bowl. Of course, it say CMG on the top. My label CMG, I feel like we already won the Super Bowl. So I wasn't going for neither team, I was going for my team. Each one of them represent an artist that I work with. This represent black youngs that say heavy count. This represent block boy JB. He got his, uh, oh, that's me. <laughs> BG represent bread gang, this money bag, yo. Each one of them represent different artists that we work with that I feel like we, we was part of their career. It's our full-time championship. I actually haven't bumped into them in a minute. So I don't, I don't know if I want to say this on here, but I want to just give him the rings when I see him. Each one of them. <laughs> but I get two made because I got to keep one too because you know, I got to represent the champions. This is a little play ring, you know what I mean? I had a bracelet that was too long and they cut it and they took the extra stones and just made a ring out of it. When I put it on, I said we married to the game. I think watches hold a value way more than any of these chains and I spent millions and millions of dollars on jewelry before and this shit didn't really, you know, be what they said it was, so. But I'm addicted to the game, so I just try to spend most of my money on, on watches. Yeah, so this this the big boy, you know what I mean? 240,000, 250,000, I think it went up, you know what I mean? Then I spent 250, I think it went up a couple thousand now. A lot of people got Richard Millions, but they ain't got the big boy. I'm talking about all rose gold casing. Some of them look the same, but they not the same. They be stainless steel in the middle. Just all rose gold, the whole casing, it's the big boy. This is another plain Richard Mill, it's like 100,000. I'm really into the Richard Mill brand because I think the watches keep going up. And, and this one's just a fun one, again. Some of the jewelry I get, I do it because when I'm on stage, you know what I'm saying, the damage pop. So this is the cheaper version, it's like 170. My favorite watch, the newest watch is the, is the um, Kelly, Kelly called it the chandelier. Shout out to Kelly. He got the um, the baguette AP. So this all baguette, 300,000. You seen a lot of watches. This is the craziest one you ever seen. You got the Patek, I've been had this one. I bought this watch maybe for 65, 70,000 when I bought it. Now I hear it's worth like 100,000. And it's just a bust down Patek, you know. 
Um, this just, it's kind of like a, a, um, a pre-gift. And when I meet the right girl out here on the road, I'm gonna give it to her. So I already have it on deck in case I meet somebody special. That's a rolling, man. That's a rolling, you know what I mean? Probably like 27, 28,000. You know what I'm saying? It gotta be for the right young lady, you know what I mean? With the right, you know what I mean? I would say buy watches, you know what I mean? Save money. The right watch is like real estate. Some of these watches is worth more than what I paid for them. But at the same time, you know, just make sure your paper right before you get to fucking around with a lot of this jewelry. It's cool, but make sure your paper right because you can you can lose a lot of money in this shit too, like I told you I did earlier in my career, you know what I'm saying? It's addictive, you know what I'm saying? So no once you jump in the game, you might be stuck in the game.